All right, well, welcome everyone, and thank you for coming to our grand unveiling of the uh, Bench Beautification Project here at the Cathedral City Library. Uh, we're so happy to have you, and thank you for coming out a little bit early, but uh, it's a little bit cooler. Um, I have with me today uh, three of our council members. I have Council Member Mark Carnavali, uh, Council Member Nancy Ross, and Council Member Rita Lamb. And thank you. And we're here also to celebrate and to acknowledge the great work of the artists, but also acknowledge the, the great work of our Public Arts Commission. So we do want to, of course, acknowledge our um, Public Arts Commission uh, chairwoman, <laughs> Sue Townsley. So, and then I also saw Deanne Hoppings with us. And Scott Caldwell. I just wanted to say that it's you know it's very appropriate that this project was uh, is here at the library. I mean the benches were here at the library, but when you think of the library, you think of, of books and, and computers and those types of things that can just open up the imagination and take us places that you know we haven't been. To me, it's very appropriate that we have some great public art here because art does the same thing. It can take us places that we haven't been. It can open our mind and our imaginations. Hi everybody, my name is Shiloh. Um, I was actually born in California, but I grew up in New Orleans all my life, and all my life uh, I've been doing art ever since I could hold a pencil. <laughs> uh, my bench out there is the pink one, uh, as a really good friend of mine, and she says, uh, I guess I'll just wait here, because it's the bench. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed doing this project. Um, this is actually my first time where I got to do something uh, public, because uh, in my background, the closest thing I've got to do to this is uh, my old high school. I got to paint on the walls of my old high school. And then as a senior, right before I left, I got to paint one giant mural. So, you know, I thought this was right up my alley. I like to give back to my community. That's how I started. So it's really cool that I got to move here. And that's one of the first things I got to do. So I'm really thankful. I'm really grateful, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for being here. My name is David. Uh, I am a local. Um, I was actually just talking to the mayor. I live around the block from him. Um, this is also my first uh, public arts piece. Um, I went to UC Davis for school, have an arts degree and an entomology degree, which is the study of insects. So if you haven't guessed it, my name is Save the Bees. Um, <laughs> My work tends to always lean towards realistic and really technical detail, which at the end always bites me at the butt. But um, I too like to give back to my community, and I hope that my bench inspires little kids to kind of not be afraid of bees and to really just have this. Um, Appreciation. Uh, appreciation for nature and um, our environment. Very nice. Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Ernesto Ramirez. I'm originally from Mexico and I live part-time in Palm Springs. So I already did uh, four benches in the uh, Palm Springs downtown. I was really, really uh, glad you guys picked me, you know, to be part of this amazing project and beautify Cathedral City. And my bench is the one with the roses, and obviously, I, you know, because of my background, I love color. Yeah. And you know, when you paint roses, they don't die. So I hope you like it. And mm -hmm. just um, my inspiration was um, um, growing up as a kid in Mexico. My mother used to put like a tablecloth, you know, in the dining room, but it was not really cloth. It was not fabric. It was plastic. So that's pretty much my uh, inspiration, the plastic uh, tablecloth with roses. So enjoy. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. I'm Tony Luciano. My last name. I've been in the desert since 1972. Have no art training. It's all out of my heart. I've done it all my life as a kid. I came from Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh. Uh, I've been working for local restaurants in this town for many, many years. And I always do the Christmas windows around town. You see, 
that are scenery. I've been doing them for over 20 years, and I got the privilege to do this, and I put the one in of the books, and that was the one I didn't like, and that's the one that was picked. <laughs> so I, I had to be uh, creative with it, and I did the best that I knew how, and I appreciated everybody. I, I hope everybody enjoys it, and uh, I'm glad I had this opportunity for being in this town so long, and I'm a resident of Cathedral City for the last 25 years, 30 years. Excellent. So, well, thank you for being here, Tony. Hi, my name is Jim Petrus. I did the oh. Stripes Bunch. Uh -huh. And again, they picked the hardest one for me to do <laughs> the designs I did, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of work in the heat, and um, basically, I'm more of a graphic designer than a fine artist, so that was hence the reason for some of the choices that I, that I had made in my design. And again, I'm a Palm Springs resident also. Jim, thanks for being here. My name is Kat Trevino, and I did the butterfly one, uh, the open book with the butterflies. It kind of um, reminds me of something I did in fifth grade. Um, the riff, uh, Reading is Fundamental, had come to the, all the schools and asked, for the students to do a poster to get kids to be more intrigued to read. And so at the time, I did a unicorn with a rainbow and read your fantasy, uh, find your fantasy, read. And so that's kind of the same you know, idea. I did my first uh, public uh, art about 26 years ago in LA. It was the mural row in 101. And it was butterflies. It was my face and butterflies were my hair. I've done five pieces in Palm Springs. I've done um, one just right last week, a couple days ago, in Sherman Oaks. And it was the revision of the, the mural. So it's my face with the butterflies. So it's kind of been my signature. Wow. I have four shows right now, two museums and two galleries. And it's just my life. Wow. So it's wonderful to share with you. And it's the only job in the world that you can get this kind of gratification. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Yvonne Godet, and I graduated from Art Center College of Design, and since then I've been a working artist supporting myself <laughs> through my artwork. Um, my bench is Hide and Go Seek, and it's, in my mind, was sort of an interaction with the kids that come to the library, so they can make a game out of hiding behind the bench or counting how many people are hiding and who's the one that's going is the it's it and it's going to find them. So it's just a fun interactive, colorful approach to the library. Um, I uh, worked after I graduated. I worked in graphic design for about 11 years. Then I had a murals and folk finishing business for about the same amount of time. And now, uh, 13 years, I've been teaching in the schools and for the city of Temecula in my program, Yes, You Can Draw. And then I do camps, Yes, You Can Draw and Paint. And I love art, and I really appreciated being a part of this and I hope to maybe do more. It's funny because I did murals so many years ago, and now it's like I'm coming back around to them. But that's how life is. Thanks, Joanna. Thanks for being here. I'm Joanna, but I like to go by Joe. Uh, my bench isn't out here. It's at the small memorial park off of Cathedral Canyon and um, David Vasquez Drive. So um, the inspiration behind it. But, so it has a quote on it that says, Bloom Where You Were Planted, and it's with cherry blossom trees. And um, the quote itself is just a reminder to everybody to excel where you are and not to uproot yourself and try to fit in anywhere else. Um, this is maybe my fourth or fifth um, public arts project. I have a couple in Palm Springs. I did just graduate from Cal State LA with a BA in art and fashion, and I'm probably going to go get my master's and start teaching pretty soon. Wow. So yeah. Good morning. I'm Lauren Avizia. I did the colorful cactus right here in the front. Sure. Uh, I actually grew up in Cathedral City and graduated from Cathedral City High School and I used to walk to this library to wait to get picked up after school. So it was so awesome to get picked to do this. This is my first public art piece. Um, once I graduated, I went to Fullerton where I was starting to do graphic design due to my photography class over here. And I realized how much I love doing work by hand instead of on the computer. So I got my degree in illustration, which is why my bench is so fun and playful and colorful. 
and now I'm getting my master's in art education to teach, hopefully at COD, that's my goal, <laughs> teach art classes there. And um, I've been learning in my master's just how important it is to advocate for art programs. So this was like super special to me to have this opportunity. So thanks, Sue, for picking me. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Hello, uh, my name is Maite Cedeño, and I've been a local for 40 years. So I was very excited when I noticed that we were going to have this beautiful project. Um, I came when I was a teenager from Mexico, but I've been like I said, local all my life. So I thought this was going to be a great opportunity to try to bring the kids into the library. So if you see my bench, you'll notice that it's a beautiful girl reading a book. She's not wearing any iPad, she doesn't have the computer on, okay. just Thank her you. and her little book. And she's reading a, a romantic novel. So what you see on the top, it's her thinking, all those beautiful flowers and yeah. hearts. Yeah. And That's fabulous. So anyway, and I think being a teenager on the desert, I always thought that this beautiful town needed some color. So put some, a bunch of color and try to bring the kids into the desert, into their library. Yeah. You know, I think it's uh, something very exciting. I never took any art classes when I was growing up, but I always knew that I had this goal for drawing and painting. And so um, I was too busy raising my kids when I came to being, you know, I got married very young. So anyway, at the very end, I, when I had some time for myself, I started painting, and what you see is what I've been okay. doing. So, oh. It's a beautiful job. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Kristen, how about you come up? Our librarian, yes. Kristen Lee. Hi. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I'm the manager at the library, and I would just like to thank all the artists so much for coming out. I've been watching you day by day over the last few weeks. Some of the hottest that I've experienced since I've been out here, and your dedication is just amazing. Um, it's bringing so much color to the library. The kids already are loving it. Um, our summer reading program this summer, the theme is Reading Colors Your World. And you have all helped color the world and bring the kids back to the library so that they will enjoy us and enjoy your benches. So thanks again very much to all of you. To thank uh, Kristen for her leadership. When we approached her with the idea, it was just an immediate yes, let's make this happen. And so we've come, we've talked about some different ideas to work with maybe the, the senior center in the library and uh, the artists in the library. And just thank you for all that you do for our kids and our residents and for being just so open and proactive uh, about helping make this a reality. So thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. That, 